That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Okay guys, so normally, as you know, I start off these videos with shit yeah, meaning like, you know, something badass is about to happen, something cool is about to happen or just has happened. This one might be better off, oh shit. And not just because there's terrible facial hair. Let's go take a look, wagon update. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's a little bit different to the last time we were in here. So, shit, son, maybe I'll go on the other side. As you can see over there, I've got the dash pulled down because I need to do, I need to put a new bonnet cable in, but also there was just some other stuff in there that, for the dodgy stereo that was in there that I didn't like, which wires hanging down and such, including this one. So this was connected, hopefully you can see, a fuse going through, and look at the tape job under there. I don't know if you can see that. Stupid light. Yeah, all legit. Anyway, so that's all gonna go back together. I put, took that dodgy stereo out, and then I thought, ah, oh, well, while I'm at it, carpet was pretty ripped over on that side, ripped in different places on this side. So, screw it, I might as well pull the seats out and put all new carpet in so the carpet has actually been ordered so that's i'll go through that when it actually gets here but yeah i'm just going to get the rest of the uh rest of this carpet out now i've got some more clips to take out down here i'm actually better keep those as well they didn't come out correctly obviously um so far what have we made a dollar a dollar twenty and a cheap screwdriver woohoo but um, yeah, so I've got some zip locks here that I'll put some of these clips in. We've got their dash screws, hopefully I know where they go again. Seat bolts. Those uh, tools there have made it super easy, like when I had to pull these little covers off some decent uh, the clips in there are not that easy to get out, so those tools have definitely helped with that. The stuff over here. Chuck those there, surely I won't lose them. Pull the seats out. The um, height adjuster wasn't working, so I'll go through and clean all up through the mechanism underneath there and everything like that and see if I can get it to be working a bit better. I do need, you can buy this piece. I do need another one of those, but worry about that later. Anyway. Also not ideal. Problem, another problem for later. But anyway, it's just sort of give you an update, so. I'll rip some more of these tools out and then I'll get that front section of the carpet out and I'll pull up the underlay as well and just have a look. I don't want to replace all the sound deadening that's all glued onto the floors if it's not needed. Hopefully the floors are all good underneath everything which from underneath the car they all look good so I'm pretty sure they'll be okay but we'll dive in and have a look. Yeah so there's the rear section. No, the rear section wasn't too bad, a little bit stained and just generally old, but the front section, tons of little rips and things in it, pretty worn. Holes in there and stuff down where your feet are constantly sitting. Actually, you can see through there, so. It's like pretty similar, so yeah. And then, All right, well, there it is. Carpet's all out. Haven't pulled up that underlay and sound in there and stuff. I pulled that front stuff up a bit here and it all looks pretty good under there. And it looks pretty good from underneath the floor, so I don't really feel like going and I could scrape all this off, put all new stuff down and everything, but yeah, I'm happy with it as it is. I'm just gonna lay the new carpet in. Um, not much more I can do in here at the moment. Maybe get the wife to vacuum it all out. <laughs> now nah, clean all this out and then, yeah, when the new carpet comes, I'll do another video obviously, but that's gonna be fun because obviously what I removed was a two piece, but I've actually got a new full molded one piece coming. So it's gonna be a bit of a mission to get all the holes cut and stuff in the right spot, but that's all right. Should be part of what makes it all fun. So seats up there seats and all the clips. Got most of all the clips out, all right? Might buy another pack anyway. You can get them from rare spares just to make sure that 
all the carpets held down nice on the side under those little scuff plate deals there so I've got to get the kick panels, carpets all a bit shrunk and stuff but there is some stuff coming in this with this carpet so I'll show you that when it rolls up it should be pretty good bit of extra stuff that I bought with it so anywho that'll about do it for this one so only a short little update on that until the carpet rolls up so as always thanks for watching and living in Big Mouse World Ha ha ha!